Welcome back. They can cost about the same as, mount, uh, as a cup of coffee, but just one landmine can uh, devastate an entire community. Our very own Owen Fairclough has been uh, looking into what's being done to, to get rid of them, Owen. Phil, landmines are a stark reminder that just because conflicts end, the threat to lives doesn't. No one knows exactly how many landmines are left in the ground, but billions of dollars has been spent on digging them up from Angola to Yemen. Even so, that leaves 56 countries currently affected by these weapons, though the list is shrinking. Burundi and Venezuela are among the places most recently declared mine-free. Around 200,000 mines per year are removed from the ground and destroyed. Add to that hundreds of thousands more from stockpiles. Farmers are especially at risk. They often return to former conflict areas in rural areas to resume working land that has been mined. Well, later this month, the UN will lead talks on developing its international mine ban treaty. The problem is some key players aren't involved. He has one of the most dangerous jobs in the world in one of its most volatile regions. Pro-Russia separatist Konstantin is clearing mines from this part of eastern Ukraine during a ceasefire in the conflict with government forces. Today, people are going home and finding unexploded shells and mines. They call us and we come straight away to demine the area. We're cleaning our territory of this danger. More than 100 children have been killed or maimed by landmines and other ordnance in this region alone over the past year. People go home forgetting that there was fighting here and they need to take care. There are also fields around where mines are hidden and people often die because of them. A mine can be bought for as little as $3. Clearing just one of them can cost up to $1,000. There were more than 3,000 mine casualties worldwide in 2013. But the numbers have halved in the past 10 years, with millions of mines cleared from areas like this Colombian village. One region that isn't likely to be free of mines anytime soon, the demilitarized zone separating north-south enemies, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and the Republic of Korea. The U.S. exempts South Korea from its own pledge not to use landmines due to a military alliance. We are, are um, committed to the alliance and the defense of the Republic of Korea. Uh, that is a commitment that has been long-standing and we intend to uh, continue at this point. Although the U.S. says it is moving towards signing the U.N.'s mine ban, China and Russia are among a number of countries who won't. For now, a comprehensive global deal appears out of reach.